All of the treatments that we use today are, are there because patients in the past have uh, volunteered to be treated on clinical trials. You're taking maybe a traditional regimen and now you're testing something else you know, with it to try and take what's already been known and make it better. The clinical trial gave me something that I could be proactive about, so that gave me a little control back. And that was important to me. That was like, wait a minute, maybe there is something that I can do. I think it's very important for me to be the best physician to my patient if I'm always on the cutting edge and I'm always part of the next thing that's going to ultimately better their health care. There's a whole new class of clinical trials about cancer care delivery. We know that there are many, many other factors related to the outcome of, of cancer treatment. And many of those are factors related to the patient or the process of delivering the treatment. As long as it's not going to affect you in an adverse way, there's no reason not to do it. I understand why patients are, are anxious and scared about conventional cancer treatment, let alone clinical trials. So I think it's important that we as physicians let patients know that we have their best interests in mind. The clinical trials are, are probably the most advanced as far as safety and concern for the patient and compassion through that process. Clinical research is very important in uh, making sure that we are treating patients in an evidence-based fashion. There is a very high standard that clinical trials have to meet before you can start offering them. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, you are in charge of your own body. Um, so the doctors have suggestions for you and that's good and you should take those, but you're still, you should be an active participant in your care. Participating in the INCOR, which is the National Cancer Institute's research arm, um, it allows us to do the national trials that are available from Sacramento, California, all the way in Florida. We can have those same trials here in Des Moines. By having the trials here and participating in the research consortiums and research groups, we're allowing our patients to stay closer to home. They shouldn't have to go to Iowa City or Mayo or Nebraska to be part of you know, the cutting edge or be part of a clinical trial. At Mercy Cancer Center, we function as a true team. I can say from the moment the patient walks in the door, we are screening them for a clinical trial. We work with our navigation, a dietitian team, a palliative care team, all the disciplines, surgery, radiation, medical oncology, genetics. My care in the whole clinical trial was absolutely marvelous. If you had questions or you had concerns, they immediately answered you. I never called that I wasn't called back and taken seriously. All my CAT scans have come back clear, so I am cancer free. Clinical research is necessary and is an imperative if we are going to continue to advance and help our patients, you know, with their disease outcomes and ultimately, hopefully one day, you know, cure them of their cancer. By participating in clinical trials, we're not only providing excellent, high-quality cancer care to our patients, we're also allowing them and us to help expand our knowledge and create what will be the best cancer treatment tomorrow. I think the benefit of the clinical trial for me was hope. That's how they're going to end up finding cures for cancer or cures for any of the diseases or through the clinical trials.